Bill Coilers, welcome to Drum, a series about whiskies. Today I'm going to talk about a few terms which are connected to whiskies and are very important. Whiskey is a spirit made out of malted grain, water and yeast. As a fact, it is distilled beer. Scotch whiskies come in two styles, single and blended. As well, they come as malt whiskies and as grain whiskies and something in between. I will explain it to you now. This is the most important what you have to know about Scotch whiskies. So, single malt means that it's single. It comes from one distillery, from the single distillery. Malt means that it is made out of malted barley nothing else malted barley water yeast blended whiskies are made out of several whiskies which come from different distilleries two or more that means blended so single malt whiskey is whiskey made in a single distillery out of malted barley it can be blended from different whiskies from the same distillery made out of barley but single means one distillery. Blended whiskies, on the other hand, can be blended grain or blended malt whiskey or just blended scotch whiskey. Blended means that whiskey is made out of several whiskies which come from two or more different distilleries. So we have single malt single grey. Single grey whiskey is whiskey which is not made exclusively out of malted barley but other other malted uh, other malted grains can be in, uh, introduced in the mesh. There are blended malt whiskies, there are blended grain whiskies and there are just blended scotch whiskies. Blended malt whiskey is whiskey made out of single malts and blended together and bottled. So you have malts from different distilleries which are combined together, blended into final product and put on the market. Blended grain whiskies are whiskies made out of single grain whiskies, blended together from different distilleries and put on the market. And finally, we have blended scotch whiskey. Blended scotch whiskey is a whiskey made out of whiskies from different distilleries in the combination of malt whiskies, different grain whiskies. You just put everything together and you get blended scotch whiskey. Are single malts the best whiskies and blended scotch whiskies the worst? They don't have to be. They don't have to be. I have brought here two examples of single malt whiskey and blended scotch whiskey. Single malt here is 12 years old Glenfiddich. Blended whiskey is Teachers Highland Cream. Why have I chosen those? Because Glenfiddich 12 years old is one of the most popular single malt whiskies in the world. As well Teachers is pretty cheap blended scotch whiskey, which is, by my opinion, incredibly good value for money. We are going to taste whiskies now. How do we taste it? First, we have to choose the glass. The best glass to taste whiskey from is Glencairn glass. It's glass made for nosing. It's maybe not the best glass for enjoying whiskey, but for tasting it, for nosing whiskey, this is probably the best glass in the world. To taste whiskey, we need glasses. We need ice cold water. And we need whiskey, of course. Now we are going to check the whiskey. First, single malt Glenfiddich, 12 years old. Put the whiskey in a glass. The cap 
for the glasses here uh, to keep all the evaporation within the glass because it is very, very important for the first smell. Every time I put my nose in, in a drum of Blenfiddich, I can smell pear. To me, it's all about pear. It's very fruity, but to me, all about pear. Really nice fruitiness in this whiskey. When we taste it, we take a small sip. You have to taste whiskey on palate and your tongue, you have to exhale on it. Try to detect different, different uh, flavors and different tastes in the whiskey. I like Lafidich, I have to say. I even have left like two or three drums in a bottle. Have to buy a new one. Why is water here? When you put a few drops of ice cold water in your whiskey, it will simply open up. It will show you some tastes and flavors which haven't been there if you have tried it straight. But don't dilute it too much. Like some pine and some woodiness come out much more with those few drops of water. I like it. We are not reviewing whiskies today, just showing you how I drink it. I just wanted to rinse the glass before we put teachers in it. Teachers, Highland Cream blended Scotch whiskey. To me personally, one of the favorite cheap blended whiskies. On the nose, after single malt whiskey, <laughs> it is not <laughs> as favorite anymore, but it's really good. No, really, this is really, really good cheap whiskey. It's really good cheap whiskey. Uh, Titus is made with like 45% of peated single malt, so it's better than, not, than many others. Peat is, and some smokiness is present, but pretty much flat compared to single malt. Very big difference on the first sip is, this one is pretty much flat compared to, to aged, not too long aged, just 12 years aged single malt, but it's pretty, flat compared to it. Uh, this one is, to me personally, very nice because it's peated and smoked whiskey. I love Eiley whiskey, I will talk about Eiley in some other vlogs, but not bad at all. Sweet flat is it to drink. Drink it whatever you want, but don't drink it after you had some single malt. I haven't diluted it with water, <coughs> it's already diluted enough. The water uh, diluted down to 40% of alcohol. Dear Coilers, I have told you a few things about whiskies, showed you how I drink whiskies. In the next vlog, I will try to explain you how I taste whiskies, not how I enjoy them. I don't enjoy them by talking too much. I hope you liked it. I hope you will join me in my next vlog. Thank you, Sergeant.